This video, more than most, I advise to make the changes discussed at your own risk. Please be careful making these changes. If there is only one user that has administrator privileges, I suggest not making changes to that account. Some changes will block the ability to run the group policy editor again to undo these changes under the account being modified because it blocks access to the group policy editor itself. Last warning, proceed with caution. If you don't have a full computer backup maybe it is a good time to make one. You have been warned so now on with the video. This video shows you how to remove certain items from control panel and settings or completely block access. This makes changes for the currently logged in user, so if you have multiple users you will want to switch users to the user you want to block certain items from. We will be covering three different ways to restrict access to control panel and settings items. I have created a new user on my virtual machine that has a standard account and we will be making changes to that user's ability to access control panel. Since I am logged in as a standard user I am not allowed access to the group policy editor. Sometimes you will be able to right click and either run as administrator or run as a different user. Since in my case I don't have either of feces options I will do it a different way. I will bring up the start menu and type cmd. You should see command prompt. We want to run this as an administrator. There are three ways to do this at this point. We can click on the run as administrator on the right. We can right click the command prompt on the left then choose run as administrator from the pop-up menu. Since I do most of this from the keyboard I hold control plus shift then press enter. Since we are logged in as a standard user we need to provide the password to the administrator account and click yes or press enter. You should now have a command prompt. It might be in the background like mine is. Just click on it to bring it into focus. Now to launch the group policy editor type GP edit and press enter. This loaded the group policy editor with full access. I have gone ahead and made the group policy editor full screen and have pre-widened my columns. Everything we will be covering in the three ways to limit control panel features will all be in the same section. That section is under user configuration, administrative templates, control panel. The first example will be to not allow this user any access to control panel or settings at all. This is also by far the simplest as it is an all or nothing. To completely block this user's ability to use control panel or settings double click on prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. All you have to do is click enable and then OK. Often this setting will not take effect until you log out of the account, then log back in, so I will do that now to demonstrate what happens when you try to go into settings or control panel. I have now logged back in and will first attempt to go into settings by clicking on the gear in the start menu. What will happen is the settings menu will start to appear, but have nothing in it. Then it will simply close. Next I will attempt to go to control panel by using the windows key plus R to bring up the run dialog box, then typing control and press enter. As you can see windows gives you an error message stating, quote, this operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. End quote. I have changed the settings back, logged out of the account, logged back in and I'm now back into the group policy editor the same way I got in at the beginning of this video via the command prompt as an administrator. I will now show you how to hide specific items from control panel. This is normally the best route to use if you want the user to see most of the control panel items as it gives you the least amount of editing to do. Before I show you how to make the changes, I will show you what my control panel looks like currently. I will launch control panel by using the windows plus the R key and this time type in control and press enter. I have changed my control panel view from category to large icons. I prefer large icons, but I would have changed the view for the purpose of this video anyway. What I will be doing in this example is removing the administrative tools, top left, user accounts, bottom, second from the left, and programs and features, second column, fifth row. I am now back to the group policy editor. To remove the control panel items I mentioned we need to know what their conical names are. I have included in the description of this video a list of many of the most common conical names. We now just need to double click on the setting, hide specified control panel items. Once you click enable you will be able to click the show button, under options. This is where we will be adding the list of disallowed control panel items. The first item we will add is, 
Microsoft.Administrative Tools by clicking in the value and typing it in. Note, there are no spaces in the conical name. Next we will click on the next blank line, just below what we just added, and add, Microsoft.User Accounts. Finally we will add the last in my list by adding, Microsoft.Programs and Features. As you can see my list now has the three items that I set out to remove from Control Panel, so I will click OK. I will click OK again. I will have to log out and back in for the settings to take effect. I have signed back in and ran Control Panel. As you can see we are now missing the administrative tools, programs and features, and user accounts. This slide simply shows the way Control Panel looked, at the top, with the way it looks now, at the bottom. I have circled the missing items in red. Again I have set everything back to the way it was, sign out then back into Windows. I have already loaded the Group Policy Editor and will now show how to tell Windows to just show specific Control Panel items, hiding the rest. Before I do I will bring up Control Panel to show that it is currently back to normal. Now I will double click on, show only specific Control Panel items. This will work similar to the same way that, Hide specified control panel items did, but in reverse. Showing only the conical items we add to the list. Again I will enable the setting, then click the show button under options. I will put three items in the list. Again we click the blank square under value. For this example the first item I am going to add is the ease of access center. For that I type Microsoft.ease of access center and click OK. The next item I will add is the keyboard. The conical name is Microsoft.Keyboard. You probably notice a pattern here of everything beginning with Microsoft. Now I will add the mouse, as you might guess it is simply, Microsoft.Mouse. Now that I have my three items in the list I simply click OK. Again I click OK to close the, show only specified control panel items. Like before I will have to sign out, then back in, for the changes to take effect. I have signed back into Windows and already ran Control Panel. As you can see I only have the three items that we added to the list. If this video was helpful please like it. Also if you haven't already please consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified when I release a new video.